what's going on people it's your boy it's just Virgo this YouTube video people is interesting because we got the main man the war himself Derek Azora and he's fighting Joe Joyce this fight has been fight in the making I'll say I think this fight is like a throwback old school kind of fight Derek Azora always bring the war the thing I like about Derek Azora people he likes to fight if I was inside the pocket Sometimes people say it might be too dangerous for him, but I like this style and I like how Derek fights. I like the old school fighting. Let's just take a dive into this press conference and let's see what Joe Joyce has got to say to Derek. Let's react. Late but never. <laughs> late to the press conference. Typical Derek. What's Joe Joyce doing? Well, here is Derek Chisora. He'll be taking on the juggernaut on July 27th at the O2. Derek is always awkward, man. Always awkward, man. Shaking everyone's hand. Don't forget the security guard. <laughs> He's here at last. Okay. Well, first question for Derek Chisora. Well, once you've uh, once you've taken a seat, Derek. We've got plenty to talk about. <laughs> it looks to take his time, in it. I think this is what heavyweight boxing division has been missing. The character of Derek Azora, you know what I mean? A guy who does not give a damn, does not give a monkeys, he's there to get a good paycheck and he's there to bring war. And this is what the heavyweight division is all about by making great fights, making them old school fights. I miss that kind of style of heavyweight boxing. Don't get me wrong people, as I said before, it's quite dangerous. At the same time, people, it's entertainment and that's what we want. It's Joe Joyce, it's July 27th, it's the O2. <laughs> good fight. Big fight. Tell us your feelings heading into this fight, Derek Chisora. Um, hello, one, two, oh, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, <laughs> I, was at, uh, I was at my Russian sauna place, so when I got a message. Did you mess? The Russian sauna. Bath, bathhouse in Victoria. So when I got a message, I was like, should I go? Should I not? And I was like, you know what? All right, let me just go. So on my way home, I was about to go do a school run. Never mind, he's there now. Guys, start what you're doing. Have you subscribed to my channel yet? If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, like and share. Stop and subscribe. What Jim? What Jim? Um, yeah, I'm excited. Listen, it's gonna be a good fight because hundred percent. Joe don't go backwards. I don't go backwards. So um, what I'm thinking is, by the time we get there, by the time we finish the fight, uh, someone's gonna have less brain brain cells left in their brain. So yay! I don't mind. I hope that's not the case. That is the case, let's be honest, I hope that is the case. case. I hope, um, I just hope we've got something to start out with. But anyway, we are where we are. Okay, now. fair this enough. Is, this is it, this is at the O2, this is a crossroads for both. 100%. No, not for me, I'm alright. Right, okay, we'll see. Now, you, you, in my opinion, you can't afford to lose it, Joe can't afford to lose it. This is... I don't know about that, I don't know about that. <laughs> With Derek, everyone says Derek is the gatekeeper. So by Frank Rowan saying he can't afford to lose it, in a certain sense, yeah, Derek can't afford to lose this fight. But Joe Joyce hundred percent can't afford to lose this fight after coming off um, that's loss against Zhang. Um, he had to build himself back up. He had a decent fight against um, Cash Cash Ali. Uh, now he's gonna be fighting Derek Zora. As Derek said in there, he doesn't take a back step, and Joe Joyce doesn't take a back step as well. With Derek. He's an old school fighter, everyone loves to see him fight. So when Frank is saying, if you lose, this is the end of the road, not necessarily, there's so many heavyweights still coming through the heavyweight ranks. Any of those guys could fight Derek. So it's not the end of the road for Derek, you know what I mean? Age might play a factor of it, and it depends when he wants to retire, but yeah, I've seen Derek in action and in the gym, sparring and everything. Granted, yeah, 
Derek is not on his way out, you know what I mean? Derek is a lethal geezer. He's gonna shock loads of people on this fight. Two big guys, all the Brady public to see, two Brits fight each other. I don't know about George Royce though. Well, you know, to win it loads of times. Um, so yeah, I know, I know we're going to sell this about 18,000 tickets in there, hopefully. Um, but it's a big fight. I'm excited. You know, um, I'm excited to be back with you, Frank, for one fight or two fights. Who knows? Do you know you turned professional with me 17 years ago? Oh, wow. I know, I know. And then got Rusty so deep now. How long ago was that? No, but don't worry. Yeah, that's long. Let me bring you in here, Joe. You uh, it's actually Hi. a fight. Hello, hello, great to see you. It's actually a fight that you've been chasing for for years. I, I think maybe it was your fourth fight when you were rocking around with David Hay. Guys, I gotta stop it there. He just said David Hay, but I've gotta stop it there. Where is the deck was all when he, he he calls mayhem in press conferences? You know what I mean? This this kind of Derek. What's going on, Derek? Like, yo, I'm used to Derek freaking causing mayhem, throwing tables. And if you guys have forgotten, let's just show you one of those clips. What's going to happen? Are you sure you wanted to kick off right now? Because if you want to, I can. Don't listen. Remember, I told don't, don't, you, don't I am the, the fight. Listen, don't get out of the fight. Derek. Listen, don't I don't, don't come out of the fight. I never don't get out of the fight. Listen, all I'm saying to you, bruv, yeah. Okay. You take a chill pill because when you try and threaten my last day after the fight, we're going to go on road. Don't think I'm a stupid man. You know? I never said I was gonna go on road. You, you're just you're, you're testing my road, my friend. Well, what, what did you say then? I never said I never said I was gonna go on no, road. Look, look, I just look at me in my eyes, and then if you think I'm a I'm a punk, you tell me right now. Because listen, I am the baddest man. Yeah. 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 As you can see, that Derek built so much hype for fight, and it sold so well. Derek Crab right now is being kind of calm and collective, probably because he's on a mission and he knows what he's going to do and Joe Joyce ain't really expecting this. But on the other hand, at the moment, Joe Joyce is a bit kind of coming out of his shell. There's more banter with Joe Joyce. There's more kind of like a smile on Joe Joyce's face before Joe Joyce was so serious. And it was sometimes it was hard for him to speak, but at the moment, he hasn't really said too much in the video yet. But what I'm taking from this is Joe Joyce is coming out of his shell. Interrupting Derek Chisora's post-fight interviews. Uh, what, what was it about Derek Chisora that made you want to fight him? What was it about him that you saw as beatable? Yeah, we had a mission that day and um, it didn't go down to plan. But uh, here we are now and uh, he, he's here now. Uh, but yeah, he, I think at the time, like, I think I've got this, I possess the skills to beat him. He looks like, nervous. Yeah, he's going to be an entertaining fight. We both, um, you know, it's a juggernaut against war. So, so what, you know what you're going to get? It's going to, going to crash in the middle. There's going to be sparks and flames. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to start, going to be into camp, uh, preparing my body and my mind and techniques and everything to, uh, to get the best outcome. I think this, this fight has been talked about for a long time. Do you feel as though Derek Chisora has been avoiding you over the years at all, Joe? Oh, shut up. There's a Derek. He told me to my face you we weren't going to fight me, mate. I never thought the fight yeah, was going to happen. Shut now, up. Look, I'm avoiding. I don't avoid nothing. And we're here we are. Listen, to you first of all, Joe, yeah. Uh, yes, you did. You're, you're, you're a man.
management were trying to get a fight, great. But I remember when David managed you, I said to, I said to David, uh, if you got so much faith in Joe, I'll fight him, but give me your personal suite against Tony Ballou. And he said no. So that showed me that he didn't have much faith in you. So I, was, I haven't been ducking you up. It was not the right time, and, and the money was not right for it. So now it's the right time. I don't duck up. I don't run away from no man. You know, I'm excited I'm fighting you. I'm not running away from you. So I'm, I'm I guess it's an unrealistic offer, like you, at, the, at the time. But you know, we can. Well, it's happening now. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm listen. I'm, wait, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, um, I'm buzzing. Um, you know, Joe says he's much stuck from camp now. Um, I, I'm always in camp every day. You know, I think most people know me. Yeah, that's true. I, I train every day. Every day, I don't have a day off. I like. That's training. true. Um, <laughs> that is definitely you know, true. You know, but, I'm excited, buzzing, um, I feel delicious for this fight. Delicious. <laughs> You've been ringside for, I think, his last three, four, probably don't get that. Um, probably the last three, four fights. You've been there for the two Zhang fights, the Cash Ali fight, the Parker fight as well. What do you, what do you think of Joe Joyce? Do you, think he's a, do you think he's still the same juggernaut that he once was? What do you think? Mate, as long as he can walk with two feet and use his two hands, he's still the same man. <laughs> life is just one of those things people tell you all oh, this and this and this as long as you can walk with two feet and you can still get your cock up if you're a man you're good <laughs> you understand so it's just, as long as jogging gets cock up he's fine you understand but anything else is just uh, a bonus is that my food Nicole is that my food can I have my food please I'm starving you know this one I haven't eaten yet <laughs> Why is he brought? I bet he's fine, guys. I bet he's fine, guys. Frank Warren, I want to be honest with you. Do you normally I come here in the after hours when I'm on fucking MDMA and I'm partying hard. And I'm surprised I'm here today. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, where's the DJ? I've never, I've never, when I've been down here, you've never been here. Are you serious? I've been here. I mean, like, this is, they know me very well here. Is there any more of them burgers going? Uh, yeah, I think yours is a five, guys. Oh. Go on, Andy, over. Well, don't worry, I'll get so, a five. Nicole, Nicole, Nicole. Nicole. You don't eat meat. You don't eat. Hey, go and chuck that. <laughs> you're you're training. You're, you're, you're in camp. You're in camp. <laughs> <laughs> you're in camp. Like, you boys ain't got to make weight, have you? Right. But you know what? Listen, I want to be honest with you. I I, I know if you guys are looking for that, that headline and the whole pushing and shoving and stuff like that. I, I, you know what? I have to be in the, in the right settings for that, to be honest with you. You know, coming here, I was just figuring out what headline am I going to give you. And I thought, I don't have any headline to give you, but what I can give you on the 27th is that Oof. it's going to be a good fight because I only got three fights left. Free. This is my way to say goodbye to the boxing world I love so much. So after this fight, I want to do a show in Manchester. And then that's me down in London. And then after that, I will take it to Zimbabwe. So basically, I got two. I got two more fights in the United Kingdom. Um, and then I can guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, Joe is not going to win. I will tell you that now. Yeah. You know, um, he can train as much as he want. He can do as much as he want. But when it comes to the real grind of it, I'm more vicious than him. I'm more crazy than him. Um, <laughs> I fear no man, and um, I'm excited. Don't worry about it. From there's no, I don't. There's no feeling each other out on the first round. I'm going in, as you guys know already. Yeah, that's true. They don't call me War Chisora for no reason. I'm going in, and that's it. So this is my last fight in the O2 Arena. With Three more Warren. fights. I think so. And then after we go to Manchester, if we go, yeah. That's uh, the like I say the winner of this fight. Winner of it. In your hands, literally. Uh, for me, it's always in my hands, you know. Winning or losing, it don't matter. I still move on. Yeah, I still move on with my two feet, you know. Uh, you know, maybe Joe might need that shit. But <laughs> ready to rock and roll? I'm ready. I've, I've been ready for freaking how many years now? What, when did I start? When did I turn over to uh, uh, 28 to 2017? Yeah, you've been waiting for a long time. Yeah.
Yeah. So we're finally getting it done. We're getting it done and dusted. We're getting, we're getting in the ring. You've turned up now. It's a bit late. You've got your food as well. Uh, can I have some? Or you can eat that? <laughs> no, I don't mind sharing food. Food, food. You can share food. You know, you never say <laughs> something you're gonna eat and share. So I can share food. I don't mind sharing. I share food with everybody. No, oh, thank you. Yeah. But not this one. Though. <laughs> okay, well, 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 we're having a fight, so go on. I know yeah. you want to ask some questions. Go on, you little <laughs> rat. <laughs> Listen, whenever I'm normally doing a presser, you're normally shouting, Is he going to knock him out? So, Derek Chisora, are you going to knock out Joe Joyce? I'm going to stop him. Oh, come on. Is he going to stop you, Joe I'm Joyce? I'm going to stop him. Well, he, he says he is, but in reality, win the fight and I'm going to knock you out and do whatever oh, I can maybe Frank I'm maybe, maybe Frank and I know exactly what I need to do I, I was going to fight you, you when, maybe, I, was, maybe, when, maybe, I, was, when maybe I was when I was maybe Frank pays the judges and the ref maybe you might win the fight but other that boy I'm going to fuck you up <laughs> if you say so but yeah. after I beat you up can we smoke weed together <laughs> Derek man don't, don't, do you, you're a bro, man. Don't worry about it. Don't no. look at them, Lord. Them motherfuckers smoke weed as well, don't they? <laughs> no comment. No comment. <laughs> we smoke weed together. Don't worry about it. Come to my house. Everybody comes to my house. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a paradise. But I tell you something. Oh, really? Come to my house. Where'd you don't live? drive. Don't get drive. over. Because oh, okay. shit. Yeah, because. It's not a PD. Wait, 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 wait. There, there, there. We got the fight first. Don't get, where, the, where the, don't get the underground. Yeah. What's that? But yeah, so don't. I'll get, I'll get a new. Wait, wait, that's the best transport. You know what? If I had the same car as yours, I would have. But I got an electric smart car, and things are hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> an electric smart car. Uh, yeah, I had to charge it. I, I, I was about to come, and I realized that I won't be able to get home, so I had to like charge you first. And I realized, oh fuck, I have to get. It. You, you, you need to borrow a charger. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll borrow your charger. I'm coming charge you at your house, but you're moving to LA. Thank you. Out to the weed. Let's do face off. I need to go home and do a school run. So that's the end of the press conference, people. Idris' take on the whole press conference is Joe Joyce, I believe, is coming out of his show. I think Joe Joyce is confident he thinks he's going to be Derek. But as Derek said in the press conference, he ain't starting camp. He, he always trains. He trains every day. He loves training. And like about that, I've seen Derek in the gym numerous times and he's been training. So he doesn't need to get in camp and do what Joe Joyce needs to do. That's hence why he can have that milkshake from Five Guys and a burger with Five Guys. Shout out to Five Guys. Hey, hey. Um, but yeah, that's that's my kind of take. So things like Joe Joyce is more looking forward to his fight. Said he um, offered Derek the fight when he just turned over pro. But then Derek was like, listen, the time wasn't right and the money wasn't right. But now the time is right. Now the money is right. We could get it on. Now with Joe Joyce's kind of, say, boxing skills, I agree, he does not go under his back foot. He always comes forward, but when he comes forward, he comes forward with those slow punches, slow jabs, and sl slow right hands. But then again, he generates a lot of power from throwing them shots. Now with Derek, Derek Star, we already know he comes forward and he throws them shots. I believe Derek's faster than Joe Joyce, and also Derek can also take a shot. Don't get me wrong, um, last fight what Derek had was against um, Tyson Fury. Um, Derek looked quite decent in that fight, I've got to admit. But you also got to remember Derek for Usyk as well, and... A lot of people agree with me here that Derek fought Usyk better than AJ and Tyson Fury. It gave more Usyk of a challenge. So you've got to weigh this up. Yes, Derek says he's got three more fights. London, Manchester and Zimbabwe. Three more fights for his farewell fights and he's going to retire. So knowing he's got this plan in the back of his head, he's not going to make Joe Joyce do anything to stop his plan. I can vouch for that and I can see it. He's coming on a different smoke for this press conference as he said before. On his way there, he was thinking of what he was going to do. Is he going to give you guys a bit of an anger, toss off, or is he just going to be calm and collective and get the job done? Now, this is a big card. Big card in O2. Derek said this is his home. Joe Joyce has never fought in O2 before, so this event's going to be sold out. And hopefully, your boy, Idris Virgo, will be, hopefully, will be there. Drop a comment below, people, and let me know your predictions. Do you think Joe Joyce is going to ring Derek? Or do you think Derek Zora is going to win this fight and have two more fantastic fights in Manchester and in Zimbabwe? But for more people, this is the end of the video. And as I always say, as a family or together, three, two, one.